I'll tell you this about music, and I almost mentioned this earlier. We were talking about Madonna and everything. Yesterday, you know, I went to the gym because I'm on my Mediterranean diet, right? Mm-hmm. And I'm trying to win this transformation challenge at the gym. Do you have you seen the the typical early January uptick in yes. attendance? Huge at the gym right now. It is packed. Usually that goes until about the end of January, early February. But right now it is packed, and so many people have signed up for that. It's called the Transformation Challenge. I mean, there's probably 300 people doing it. I mean, wow. it's it's huge. Anyhow, and we're all in there scurrying for treadmills and everything. And yesterday they always have like a playlist going, you know, of music. And sometimes I love it, and sometimes it's just okay. A lot of times if they'll play music, I don't really know like current day music. I don't like it as much. Sometimes they'll go, you know, old school or whatever. Well, yesterday. And I don't know why this was or anything, but I noticed every single artist that played on the playlist was either gay or a real champion for the gay community. It was Elton John. It was Queen. It was uh, Lady Gaga, Cher. Mm. And it was phenomenal. I loved every, I mean, Wham's Wake Me Up Before You Go-Go was playing. I was, I had the best workout yesterday, and I think it was because of that gay playlist. Well, I could be. I couldn't believe it. I was like, this is the best music. I loved it. And it took me about 15 minutes like, all these artists are gay. Mm-hmm. Or huge champions mm-hmm. of like the LGBT community. Is there a scene it. in the, uh, was it a late 90s movie, Kevin Klein, In and Out? Yes. Or he Yes. Believes himself to be a straight man. Yeah. But deep down, he's not 100% certain. And yes. So he tries to get this tape to make him straight. <laughs> That's right. And they play a song, and, and he's not supposed to dance to it. But, but by he, the end, he's dancing around the room. He couldn't, he, can't stop. he couldn't stop. He can't me. stop the music. Well, I say to you, it was such great music. There was nothing I could do. To, I mean, I just, I moved better than I've moved in a long time <laughs> yesterday. And I had to credit. You're just distributing high fives left and right? Yes. And they played Macho Man and my. Uh, <laughs> it's and, raining, man. Oh, and they played all of this. All and then they and and uh, Cindy Farmer, who is a newscaster here, was also in that class. And they started playing Macho Man. She started pointing at me. <laughs> yeah, she'll do that. We were lifting weights. Me? Like, yeah. You. Yeah. Yes, you. <laughs> and I was like, "This is great music." And they played that song by uh, Queen. What, and not somebody to love. The other one that I like so much is Biggie's ice skating song. Oh, Biggie's ice skating right. song. Don't stop, stop me now. now. And I was hitting a, <laughs> uh, like an all out on the treadmill, and I was just like flying. I was going. <laughs> you couldn't was, be stopped. I could not. And they were like, don't stop me now. And I was stepping with the beat. And I thought, by golly. I'm having I, such a good time. I'm loving a ball. Yeah, that's what they were saying. I was like, I love this music. Did you tell your coach after? Yes. And she actually said. She said, several of you have told me today how much you like the music. It's available at this website or whatever. You can oh, does she to... make a Spotify playlist or something? You know what it's called? It's called Rock My Run. And oh. uh, she told us. I, I had never heard of that. Never but of apparently it. you can get something called Rock My Run. And you know what she says it does is it, it has different playlists for different speeds and stuff. She actually says if you're running outside, you can, I don't know how you do this. It monitors your heart rate, and the faster you run, the faster the music will play. It'll hmm. it'll pick a song that matches your heart rate. So if you're just walking, you have to wear one of those you wearables. Must. Maybe it's a. I bet on your watch. I bet if you're wearing an Apple yeah. Watch or something. But that's what she said. Now I will never do that, and I've never heard of that. But she said if and you have to subscribe. It's like eight bucks a month for Rock My Run. But they put together playlists for you, and then if you set it to that, it'll monitor your heart rate. I mean, how advanced are we now? Yeah. It monitors your heart rate so that if you're just walking and cooling down or warming up, it'll play that level of music. And then once you start really going, it'll start bumping things up. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. Today, show tunes. I took play off. <laughs> Brother, bring it on. I got to tell yeah. you, that was great. Clang, clang, clang with a trolley. <laughs> Surrey with a fringe on top. That was great music. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Some of the youngsters in the oh, class. Oh, like, uh, they, might not, they might not appreciate well, it. Well, I mean, it Boy, moves. I sure, I sure appreciate it. I'll tell you that. Uh, are they, do you, uh, how do you guys treat the new people that are there, that are, that are newcomers? That, because you're the regulars. You're all the regulars yeah. at the bar. I, I, you I, slough them off. No, and... I try to be welcoming. And yeah. a lot of times they'll say, you know, high five your neighbor, introduce yourself. If you've got a new person next to you, introduce yourself. Mm-hmm. And I'll do that, you yeah. know. And, you Big know, sweaty high five. Yeah, yeah God. <laughs> oh. Man, there was a guy next to me yesterday, and I was sweating and just slinging sweat. And he 
was new, and he's just like, yeah. I didn't, I didn't sign up for this. The regulars I, are used to it. Well, I sweat more than anybody else. Yeah. Everybody knows that You're squishy. I, I am. By the time I get out of there, I am squishy. But they do encourage that. They're like, give somebody you don't know a high five. Give them a hug. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. I'm a hugger. You a hugger? Let's Come go. on, bring it in. Big they'll do, wet they'll, SOB. They'll do that. <laughs> this is, okay, a couple of Karens in the news today. I don't like the term because I have friends named Karen, and I think it's completely unfair to them because they're nice people. You know Karen Atwood? No. 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 Okay. Do you keep dragging her name into it? <laughs> <laughs> well, I haven't seen her in 35 years, but she was real nice. Is she the only Karen in, that you've come across lately? There was another Karen. I knew them both in uh, school. But I don't know that I know. I don't know many Karens. I know those two from school. Karen Atwood I knew better than, I can't even remember the other Karen's last name. Yeah, you did. Nonetheless, nonetheless I always think that's unfair to people named Karen, what their name has now become. And I haven't we said that the male equivalent is probably Chad? Chad. Yeah. yeah. Well, there's two Karens being talked about today. One was on a Spirit Airlines flight out of Las Vegas. And she was being taken off the flight. I don't know why, but she got into some altercation with a flight attendant or somebody. So she was being taken off the flight. And, of course, everybody mm. started filming with What do you have to do to get taken off of Spirit? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, aren't the tickets 1999? <laughs> there has to be bloodshed. Uh, yeah. I'm not, if, unless she pulled a shiv on something. I don't know. <laughs> so they just held the knife to your neck, but they didn't use it. That's right. Stay on. Right. Did it break yeah. the skin? Come on. we got to get this plane in the air. Get back in your Sit seat. back down. Put your tray table down. Let's go. Uh, I don't know what she did, but they were... Ushering her off. They, and they had a security guard there and a flight attendant. And they, uh, all I saw was her walking past. And everybody booed her. And somebody somebody <laughs> well, cheered. I'm sure it delayed everybody. It did. They were all on delay. So someone cheered when she went by like, yay, like get out. And at that point, she says, if you were in my position, you would have done the same thing. And then it really escalates as she leaves. Do you hear the boo? You heard the boo. Yeah. Boo. boo. All right. She says, if you were in my position, you'd do the same thing. <laughs> now that right there. If yeah, she's in the tunnel. She's in the tunnel. She's off. She's off. You can barely hear. She says, I hope y'all crash and die. Ooh. Well, listen to the plane's reaction. Oh. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> Well, they rock. Oh, hey, hey, wait a minute. Easy now. To that's low blow. That's low below the blow belt. Now. And then. Sorry. Then the wartime rules, right? Now, as, yeah. <laughs> as she pulled out the big gun. She really did there. I would have done something like, whoa, don't say that. And then the pilot comes out of the cockpit and looks back at the at the passengers and then to her and starts marching out. And the people filming comment on that as well. Oh, hope you crash and die, she said. Oh, the pilots. Oh, the pilots. I haven't crashed in two weeks. <laughs> He comes out of the cockpit hey, rubbing his eyes. Uh, oh, what's all the noise about? My confidence is very shaky right now. We're not taking off for another 10 minutes. I'm trying to get a little sleep out here. Yeah, I don't know what she did. And that's all the details. Yeah. This is Vegas, and she did something. But you I, can say it on the jetway, can't you? I hope you crash and die. I don't, Maybe not on the plane. I don't care for it. I do not. <laughs> no, I don't care. like it. I don't like it. You heard the reaction. Just, oh, hey, no. hey, that's a little bit too Over far. the line. Over the line. <laughs> here's, the, the, here's the whole thing put together. Boo. I don't care for that boo either, by the way. <laughs> yeah. uh, you don't have to. Yeah, that wasn't necessary. You know what I mean? <laughs> Oh, 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 yeah. 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 oh, the pilots. Oh, the pilots. Oh, the pilots. Oh, the pilots. Oh, there's the pilot. Oh, there's the pilot right there. I, uh, <laughs> by the way, the Spirit Airlines pilot has a big hat on that says, Pilot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the pilot. I thought it was going to be that big blow up dummy from Airplane. Pilot <laughs> <laughs> <I live> here. <laughs> Automatic pilot. Yeah. Uh, I would get off that plane. See, right there. When nah. she says, no, I get off that plane. I said, like, okay, that's it. You think Karen cursed it? Yep. That's a Karen curse. <laughs> I am not into that. And when and Whenever I see something happen on a plane, very rare, or in the airport, I always think I'm cursed. You know, mm -hmm. when there's something happen, I don't fly very much. But I know one time coming back from San Diego, there was a, a couple that had a huge fight right outside the plane I was getting ready to get on, uh, right there when we're boarding. And the woman just walked off. Like, she didn't get on the plane. They had, and it was loud, and they were F-U and F-U and gone. 
And I thought to myself, I'm not getting on this plane. It's going to crash. That's what you'd see, like when the news interviews them, the woman was saved only because she had a fight oh, with her boyfriend. Right, right. You know, she didn't get on the flight. But I did. And it worked out. It was a perfect flight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was times yeah. they do. No, no, problem, no problem to it at all. But it always scares me when anything goes even just a little bit wrong on a flight.